Hi everybody, this is Uncle Ook. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the song we just uh, heard. It was the I Can See Clearly song by Johnny Nash. I was just gonna go over some of the uh, elements of the song just so you could catch on just in case you missed it while I was playing it. So there are one, two, three, four, five, seven chords. Seven chords. I don't like to put down my oop because I love it. I don't sleep with it or anything, but it is pretty cool. And by the way, it's a Kala. I'll show you there. It's a Kala, and it is a beautiful Koa ukulele. Look at that. How pretty is that? And I love this little light thing here. I don't think that was planned, but and it goes... Oh, I'd never noticed that before. It goes most of the way around. It's kind of cool. So anyways, here I am with my little ukulele, my big fat fingers, so it's going to be a little tricky to show you, but I'm going to give you my best shot here. So the first chord's a D, and I've got it marked off so that your second finger, it's the dirty finger, is on the those two strings closest to you. And the third string, the third string furthest away from you, gets the third finger, which is your ring finger. Oh, look, I got a ring on it, by the way. So there's your D chord. Now, people have a bunch of different ways to play this. I play it like this because when I was learning guitar, I just learned how to play this particular chord, which happens to be an A on a guitar. Like that, so that's how I numbered it. You can number it any way you want to, don't worry. Here's the D chord. So you take your pointy finger, third string, your ring finger, top string. So these two are all in the same fret, okay? And then this, I'm sorry, pointy finger, dirty finger, ring finger. And there's your G chord. And then here is the A chord, two fingers, real easy. I put the second dirty, the dirty finger on the first string. I make that, and then this finger goes on the second string for closest to me. Okay. Next chord is the C chord. Now there's a million ways to play this. It's only one string needs to be pressed in. You can play it like that. The reason I like to play it like this is because that way this finger is nearby when I play this. So let me show that to you again. So there's that finger playing the G or the C. So you see I didn't have to move it very far. I just went from there to there. Easy. Now, if you want to do this, you have to pick your whole hand up to get that hand shape. So, sometimes it's easier to prepare for a chord. If your finger is able to be a different finger, to look at the next chord you'll be playing. Just makes your life easier. Okay, there's your G, uh, C chord. Okay, let's go through it again. D chord, use these two fingers. You press down. Next chord is the G chord. So if you think about putting these two fingers on this string and that string, and then you put your ring finger right there, there's your G chord, your A chord, start with your dirty finger on the second. Now I try not to flip people off anymore and I really haven't for quite a while. Um, maybe once or twice that I don't remember off the top of my head, but maybe I shouldn't call this a dirty finger, maybe I should call this the very large pointy finger. So the very large pointing finger goes there. And then this finger just tucks in right behind it. There's your A chord. And then your C chord, again, I'm using my ring finger. 
just so I can prepare. Now, another chord this will be nice to prepare for, but we never have to change between these two chords, is your F chord. So let's look at your A chord real quick. Okay. Okay, so these two fingers make up, whoops, make up your A chord. Now if you take this finger here and just move it one string further, ah, there's your F chord. Okay, so the F chord goes like that. Now, the last two chords are bar chords. I'm a guitarist and I was actually taught folk and rock when I was younger, so I usually refer back to my bar chords. So there's my C sharp minor. And there's my B sharp minor. It's the exact same chord, but I slide it up or down depending on what chord I want to play. So, pointer finger, small pointer finger. And you could almost get away with doing that. Let's see? Let's see, it would go like this. But I think I like that string in there better. So it's a bar chord across the fourth fret for the C sharp minor. But now take your ring finger and your middle finger is just flopping around, so don't worry about it. Okay? And that's where your ring finger goes, right there. Now you slide it down two. So there's your ring finger again, okay? So that's the chord progression, or the, actually the chords. Now, the strum, okay? Now the style of strumming that I like to do is I like to do, I like to keep my fingers always moving. And if I were to play this way, that's awfully boring, isn't it? But I never play that way, but that's what my hand is always doing. So it goes like this. Okay, so basically it goes down, down, goes down, down, wait, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, down, just like that. And all the time my hand is usually, not always, sometimes I make mistakes, but I try to stay with that. It helps me keep time better too. So. See how that goes? Your fingers need something to do, and mine usually do because I get bored if I wave too much, is I do a little chukka. Hear that? Whoops, a little too much chukka there. So I'm adding in a little extra sort of percussion into that. So that's the part for the verses, okay? I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all obstacles in my way. Now let's get to it's gonna be bright. And I usually don't do this, but I'm actually using natural sunlight today for my video, so. We have a bright day. It's not perfectly clear, but it sure looks sunny outside. Okay, now this one's gonna be. Okay, 
So there's gonna be two rhythms going into this. It's gonna be a bright, bright, sunshiny day. Okay? So, two rhythms. First one, it's gonna be a bright. And then back to the first rhythm. Okay? So, it's gonna be a bright, Sunshine day. Okay, so bright. So it's gonna be down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, just like that. It's gonna be a bright, bright, sunshiny day. Okay, it's gonna be a bright. So that's how it goes. And then the look all around is pretty much the same as the, it's gonna be bright. So let's try that. Look all around, nothing but blue skies. Look straight ahead, there's nothing but blue skies. So there's that down. through the whole thing but I like right the look straight ahead there's nothing there's nothing but blue skies so there's nothing but so it's chunk 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 okay look all around there's nothing but blue skies so this part I just like to make a quick little motion okay the look straight ahead, there's nothing but blue skies, has a really, really easy chord change. You're going from the F to the A. I'm sorry, excuse me, the, uh, yeah, it's the A. Okay? So that's the one where you take your pointy finger. See that? Nothing else moves. So try to keep your movements very minimal on this type of song. Okay? Now this is probably gonna be the hardest part of the song. Anyways, you have to go from this shape to this shape, okay? And again, the whole time, down, down, up, 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 down. Real easy strumming pattern. Look straight ahead, there's nothing, nothing but the skies. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. This part I kind of like to do. That's kind of the same thing. There's no, nothing but so. So you're doing the down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Up, down, up, down. Okay. So I kind of like to chunk that in there. So then it just goes back to the to the um, beginning. Uh, I can see clearly. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. So, and you just end it any way you want. I like to end it. Bright, bright, sunshiny day. And the voice goes up on the last one. It's gonna be a bright, bright, sunshiny day. There you go. That's the components to this song. And 
the best way to practice this is to do the hard parts first. I know you don't like doing hard parts. So like you might want to do something like this. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all obstacles in my way. Like do a fast chord change. And see how fast you can do that. And then you got to do the look around, there's nothing but blue skies. So you go through all those complicated chord changes and the more you practice them, the better off you'll be when, you actually, when it actually comes time to play the song on that beat. My last thought is if you mess up, I, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. So sell your mistake, just like that one. That was the first chord was wrong. It should have been this chord. But I started, I can see clearly. So I just wait until I'm right, because <laughs> I was wrong at the beginning, but I'm right now. Clearly now. So anyways. For what it's worth, that's your Unka Ook training session for I Can See Clearly, and I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please be full of God's mercy and love, and just hopefully those dark clouds will go away for you too, and you can sing this song with cheer.